Hi everyone, it's Loretta. Thank you for joining me. This is part nine in my 2018 craft fair series. I am really having a great time sharing with you my ideas and things that I'm making for my very first craft show, which is the 28th of July of 2018. Uh, today, we're gonna make some note uh, pad holders. This is a junior legal pad. And they come like this, and there's one more section with a little red tab part on it. I took these two staples to have them cut. I will never do that again. They didn't even come close to cutting them uh, straight. Uh, there were rough edges. I can go on. Um, there actually is some more cutting I need to have done. And um, I will actually make the drive to Huntsville, Alabama to do it at FedEx. Uh, so do not use staples unless they have some kind of a guarantee that uh, if they mess it up, they'll rebuy your supplies because it's just not worth it. So to make these work, I am going to use a couple of little tricks. The first one is this piece of paper that I'm going to cover the very back of this with measures two and an eighth by 11. And the reason obviously that it measures two and an eighth is because a lot of these pieces are not straight. I am just gonna use your run of the mill glue here. This is Scotch Create Tacky Glue. You can also use your um, glossy accents. You can use a tape runner, even though I don't recommend it, only because you do need a really, really strong glue. And so I'm just gonna place this on the back of my notepad. And flip it over. And as you can see, it's actually not straight, but you're not gonna really, nobody's gonna be able to tell that it's not perfect. Um, so just keep that in mind. A little glue there and a little glue there and I'm going to just push this over and hold it in place for a minute this is where you can just use your um, clothes pins to hold this down while the glue sets up but since I have my clamp out I'm just gonna hold it in place now this is um, a piece of pattern paper from the Christmas Noel recollection set I have a um, scrapbooking paper obsession, especially for Christmas paper. It's bad, folks. So, what I'm gonna do is, so, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this to two inches. Um, you can cut this into the strips um, horizontally instead of vertically have to run down the length of these cute little notepads. So we're just going to go ahead and cut these. And no, you do not have to actually have a piece of cardstock behind these. The only reason I am doing it once again is to uh, camouflage the fact that these uh, paper pads were not cut straight. So. This is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, so I was able to get six of these out of one sheet. Okay, now we're going to just get this paper trimmer out of my way. I'm going to release my clamp because by now it has set up. And I am going to um, go ahead and actually cut this where I want it to be. You can see up underneath there the, uh, the edge of that paper pad, so I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to stick my scissors right there and chop that right off. And just put that glue back down. If it comes up a little bit, just put some more glue down. And put a dab right there. And I'm going to turn it over onto its belly and put some glue onto the back of my scrapbook paper and flip it around. 
straightening out the paper onto the back of this notepad, trying to get it fairly even. And once I have it down, I am going to go ahead and clamp that down and use my scissors to cut off the excess just like that. Once again, this red cardstock measures two and an eighth by 11. This time I'm just using glossy accents. I just happened to pick it up. And once again, you don't have to use glossy accents. You can use regular glue, it'll work. So we're gonna go ahead and straighten this out. And in this case, it really didn't lay down straight at all. Easy enough, the glue's still wet. Little glue right here on the very top edge. And right there, go ahead and fold that over. Dry enough to release the clamp, and it is. We're going to go ahead and reclamp clamp the second one into place while I get my piece of pattern paper ready. Hopefully, this is showing up on camera. I did not. Um, feel the need to clean off my desk to do this project, which I really should have. I've been in this really bad habit lately of just working without cleaning up the mess of the previous project. And um, that has actually been detrimental from the standpoint of when I go to find something, I can't find it because I did not put it away properly. I'm also trying to get myself into some other better habits in my life, like making my bed every day. I'll let you know how that goes. So far, I've done it two days in a row. I think that's a new record. Okay, no, I actually used to really be in a great habit of uh, making my bed. I just have gotten out of it. But here is some trim that I have in my collection. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trim Take my notepad right back into place. Put a little glue on the back. You could also um, hot glue this into place if you wanted to. And put another dab of glue on the front panel right there. We're gonna wrap this around. I'm just gonna tie a simple little knot. I have these uh, Christmas pencils that I bought on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year. I think I got them for 70 or 80% off. I'm just going to choose one that uh, matches the color scheme anyway. And since this has got a polka dot showing, it works. And I am going to make sure that that's glued down, which it is. Going to put this onto the notepad just like this. All right, um, I have these plastic bottom gusseted bags. I think I got them from clearbags.com. I'm really honestly not sure. I will try to remember to look it up. I've had them for a long time. I bought like 150 of them. And I've used them for all kinds of projects. This just happens to be one of my favorite ways to use this. So there is a method to the madness here. Uh, if you wanted, you could actually put a couple of glue dots on your pencil and put it on top of um, your notepad. We really don't need to do that. So this is um, the front of the bag and then there's the uh, little gusset part on the bottom. You want this part to face up. And when you slip this into the bag, Very ambidextrous. We're just going to slip it in towards the front. There are, there is a gusset, so you want to put it in the part of the gusset that's towards the front, and you can slip it all the way into the bottom just like that. Now we're going to slip our pencil in. Um, straighten up that ribbon if you'd like, or lace. This is just a piece of trim. 
It was on sale for 50% off at the Hobby Lobby. That's the only store, honestly, folks, that we have around here. I keep hoping for Michael's. Or a private scrapbook store, that would be fabulous, but it hasn't happened yet. I like to put this at just a little bit of an angle there. All right, this um, part of the bag measures two and a half. So I'm going to cut a piece of pattern paper to four inches, and I'm gonna go ahead and crease it in the middle, one and a half inches, and see if I like the uh, topper better at that measurement. I still think it's too big. I'm gonna take it down to one and a quarter. We're just gonna experiment here together. And I like that. Okay, so this measures two and a half by one and a quarter folded. I'm almost out of staples. I think that's what's wrong with this little guy. I'm going to try to just put one in the middle. This is where the hot glue would really come in handy, but my hot glue gun is off for the evening. This dries clear, but there really is no reason in the universe to have that much glue. Go ahead, like I said, and use my clamp. So this is what it looks like all put together. These are going to go for $2 a piece. I hope you will give this project a try. If you do, please share your work with me. This is uh, number nine in my 2018 craft fair series. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Stay happy and be a blessing. Bye for now.